Hi, I'm Coach Ben. And I'm Ana Cervelo, Team for Kids runner, Brooklyn resident, and two-time TCS New York City Marathon finisher. Welcome to the official TCS New York City Marathon course experience. Welcome to Brooklyn, the borough of Kings. After you cross the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, the TCS New York City Marathon will take you up 4th Avenue, past the Brooklyn Academy of Music, through Fort Greene and Williamsburg for about 10 miles of the course. This should feel like a long run, not a race, so settle in, relax, and conserve your energy. Runners have crossed the Verrazano Narrow Bridge and we've entered Brooklyn. The energy is amazing, the views are spectacular. Why is it important for runners to be conservative and keep these early miles easy? Well, you're just starting the marathon. We're in Brooklyn for a really long time. So think that you don't want to take it too fast. You don't want your best 5K time. <laughs> you don't want your best half marathon time. You're here to run a marathon and you're just starting. You're fresh. So don't get swept up in the crowds. Just go, be smart and go slow. Runners will head out onto 4th Avenue right behind us for about five miles. And we're in Brooklyn for almost 10 miles. How do runners want to approach and manage these early miles? Brooklyn is a party. It brings <laughs> out the best people, the best music. And then also 4th Avenue here is flat and fast. So it's easy to get wrapped up on the energy and then just take off. <laughs> but you have to remember, we're still in the first part of the marathon. We don't want to go too fast. You don't want to burn yourself out before it's time to really kick it in. So my best advice would be to take it nice, slow and easy. Remember your training, remember what you've been doing, and then just be confident in what you were taught, what you were trained to do, and just run it slow and smart. At mile eight, three courses become one at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. You're gonna have music, you're gonna have big crowds, so how can runners stay relaxed at this part of the course? So they have been enjoying the music, the crowds, but right now you have to think about yourself, your body, be mindful of your legs, the pace you've been training at, where you're going. You know we still have a long way to go. You have to be smart, keep it conversational, be mindful of you, your pace. It should feel like a long run, yeah. not a race. So you just want to keep on pace, keep going, and keep it strong. What is your favorite section in Brooklyn, and how does that Brooklyn energy feel? So, biasly, I <laughs> love Fort Green. Fort Green brings in the energy, brings out the crowds, it's a little bit narrower than you've been in 4th Avenue here, but it just means you're that much closer to the public, that much closer to the people who are cheering for you. You get high fives, you get the people, you get the boost for power signs. It's the best. You're, you're in tune with the city, you're in tune with its people. So it's just one of a kind energy that Brooklyn really brings out that day. Team for Kids. Let's talk about Team for Kids. What does Team for Kids mean to you? Team for Kids for me, it has given me a team. It has given me a family here in New York. Uh, the reason I keep coming back is just the people. It's amazing. We, we start as runners, but then in the end, through so many miles, through yeah. so many training sessions, Wednesday practices, we become friends. I've yeah. met people that I love most in this city through Team for Kids, and I just keep coming back because of the advice that I've received from people. I've seen runners that have gone through millions of marathons, runners that are just their first marathon. So listening to all their experiences, seeing every, every background, every story that has been done, Team for Kids gives you that opportunity. And also it's a great cause. It's beautiful to hear also what this does for the kids, for just the organization as a whole. It's, it's one of a kind and I love it. <laughs> We're off and running and you're settling in to the TCS New York City Marathon with almost half the race behind you. But remember our three key points for Brooklyn. Number one, settle in and take it easy. Number two, while this section is fast and flat, be mindful of that Brooklyn energy. Number three, at mile eight, say hello to some new friends as three courses become one. Keep it steady, stick to your race plan and trust yourself. Next stop, Queens the Pulaski Bridge, and the halfway point of the TCS New York City Marathon. <laughs>